Hello and welcome everyone to our another episode of Object Oriented ABAP on YouTube with me Amrit. So in the previous session we saw our local classes versus global classes. Now in this episode we are going to see what are the getters and setters in Object Oriented ABAP. Ooh ABAP getters and setters in object oriented up a very important concept highly used in almost every application so let's see that part let me check i believe it will be sixth episode of it yeah okay so getters and setters so introduction of these things and then we'll also see the implementation part. So what is a getter in in object oriented programming? It is never recommended to directly give the access of of the attributes of the class it is never recommended to directly give the access of the attributes of the class it is never ever recommended in object-oriented programming why because attributes are the class property class property and it is not a good thing that any outside user should access the class property that is why it is never ever recommended so what we usually do we usually make our attributes as private and we do not directly give give the access of these attributes to the objects what we do we create methods for them methods for them and these methods are known as getter method and setter method getter and setter method so what is a getter if we have to describe a getter function or better better we should call it method functions are completely different thing so getters are used here getters are used to get the access of the properties they are used to get the access of the properties and setters getters are used to get the access of the property and setters are used to set the properties of the class without directly accessing where we are directly allowing objects to access it object to access it so what we will do in object oriented abap we use the me keyword to refer our current object current object and using that we will change the value of the objects perfect so i hope this definition is clear for getters and setters let's go and see the implementation i will go for my sap logon and there i am simply going to take a requirement so what i will do you all, if you all remember we have got our employee table so I'm simply going to 
uh, use this requirement for the scene purpose so there will be a requirement and this requirement will focus on employee so for our employee id and employee name we will implement the getters and setters okay so let me log into sap system i will log into the sap system i will go to s11 this is my employee table and in this employee table i have got the data elements employee id and employee name and if i say it's content I've got few records here from 101 to 113. Perfect. So now I will go back and here I will go for these two columns. I'll create one class for it. So let's go to SE30. I'll create one local class. So Z local class getters setters. Okay. Getters and setters in object oriented about executable package request okay so i will create two parameters for these things one to take employee id type the data element i will copy its data element from here and i'll paste it here and employee name so p employee name type its data element and I will paste it here then I will create two radio buttons also so so that I can once implement getter another time uh, setter so radio button group R1 one group I am creating here and then I will go for R2 so R2 type C radio button group R1 okay let's activate it I will go for your go to text elements and I'll go for selection text. So let's write the corresponding values here employee ID, employee name, then I'll go for radio button one. So let's say uh, get employee and this one will be set employee. Okay, let's activate it. It is ready. Perfect. It is ready. I'll go back. Now, once it is ready, I will go for my class. So, class, I will name it local class, definition, and class. In between, I will have my public section, protected section, private section. Okay. This is the perfect order. If you want, you can go and check any of the standard class. You will find the same stuff. So for this public section, I will def define my methods. So methods first will be my get employee where I will display my content. And before that, let's create some um, attributes here. So I will define attribute here first. I will make it an instance attribute. And for this instance attribute, what I will do, I will go for my employee ID, type its data element. So let's copy employee ID data element and employee name type employee name okay perfect employee id and employee name uh, then i will have my get employee here okay so this employee will be used to uh, uh, this will be used to display the employee then uh, i will have a set employee here so set and other than i will have set employee will be based on the user or another will i will also have declare i'll declare one more method here so that method will be uh, what should i define it okay let it be set employee set employee i'll have importing so importing will be p employee id type its data element so employee id and then I'll have exporting parameter here. So exporting, not exporting, it is not needed. 
las multiple parameters p employ mean p employ mean type data element okay it looks perfect get employee and set employee set will have these importings so for this private let's add some default values also so i will pass some default value directly from here so value 101 and i will have one more value here let's i will name it amrit raj okay so this is my class definition let's go for class implementation so class LCL class implementation and class and here I will have my method so method get employee and method I will go for write statement first so write I will display my value here as uh, um, what should I do? Mean dot EMP ID and me dot EMP name. Okay. EMP name. Yeah. It's fine. Then we will go for set employee. So method set employee and this time we are going to simply change the values so for that purpose I will make some changes here so uh, we will go for me employee ID is equal to P employee ID so that what we are going to pass here uh, here the name will collide okay so pi I will make it for in parameter importing so this will become pi and then this one will be employee name so employee name is equal to pi employee name perfect now once these changes are done I will also display one so that I can check so if mm, not at that time it's fine that's okay activate it perfect right so we are having our class definition and class implementation now i will go for start of selection and i will create my objects so I will follow new syntax data lo underscore obj to create my new syntax here. So new class lcl. Once object is done, I will check. So if p r one is equal to two, if we are going for first radio button, else if p r two equal to true, then this one, and if so first one will be t to display our hello obj hello obj and get employee okay it's fine right then the second one will be to set employee so i will go for hello underscore obj and to set employee we will pass the importing values here so p employee id and p employee name yeah perfect p employee id and name taking from the user once it will be done i will go for size sub rc equals to zero and i will call here my display method again to check get to check whether the changes are made getting saved here or not otherwise I will display a error message so message employee data do not update it type error okay so it's perfect I followed all the naming convention I created a wonderful 
uh, program here taking input for employee id and name two methods getter and setter and then we are implementing and then in the startup selection i'm simply calling it so it's perfect let's go and check i will put here a debugger i will go for execute first i will go for get employee then i'll go for execute So we are in debugging. Let's go to Dexter 3. Here I'll go for F5. Now we will we are creating the object. So I'll go inside that. This is calling the display method. So definitely we will get the output 101 and Amritraj. Perfect. Now I will change it 200. Here I'll pass another name. And I'll go for set employee this time. Let's go for execute and check what is happening. So Dexter 3. I will go for F6. So it is going for else if condition. Let's go in else if it will call set employee. Set employee will allocate the value to the object. So this values will be allocated to the object. Now I will come out and this method will be called get employee. So let's go and check. Can you see the changes? Changes getting saved at the runtime. So this is all about getting a getter and setter without directly accessing the attributes we are able to make the changes so as a user we will never allow the users to get the access this is the same stuff going on if you go to atm uh, you are directly if you will open the you will get the interface for your saving and current account but you will never be directly accessing the cash so that interface will be helping you to get the access so similarly this is the interface getter and setter so i hope this concept is clear so thank you very much for watching. We will continue from next part.